hello everyone it's monica here and welcome to my channel today i'm coming to you with a brand new collection by crafters companion which is called large flourish corner dies uh, this collection has six cutting dies and these are those beautiful corner dies so each set has one cutting die and uh, let me actually show you how those dies looks like it's like a die which you can use to cut into your card. You will see from my projects uh, how you can use it. And every single one of them uh, has a different design and slightly different measurement. So the first one is Fancy Flourish. Then we've got Elegant Flourish. Swirling Flourish. Decorative Flourish. Opulent Flourish and ornate flourish and i will link all of them below the video so you can check out if you want to go for full collection or maybe you like some of them uh, i like uh, the ones which they've got bigger pieces like this one so this one is let me see this one is fancy flourish so let me see this tie so that's the first one i like it because you can uh, easily do paper piecing i didn't do it but i was thinking about it at the end of what i did i did as a very simple tag and as you can see i added some uh, sparkle in uh, some places and i used a moonstone uh, this one is um, spectrum spectrum noir sparkle so i used this one uh, inside it um, because I was actually running out of time so and this was my last project I've made with this collection so a big tag which you can uh, use to add to anything like a, a gift or something so this is the first one then uh, let me show you this one because this one as you can see I cut two corners it's very simple very elegant and I love those type of cards and I hope you like it as well as you can see there are only three colors and uh, it's good to use the a darker color uh, underneath that um, corner die. Then uh, you will see it much better. It will be more visible. So what I use, I use the pastel colors. I use this uh, topper from Hydrangea Collection topper pad. This one is 8x8 eight eight topper pad. Just simple uh, ribbon, some pearls. And I think this card is really pretty. Then you can go uh, a bit crazy what I did with this one. It's actually a shaker card and I uh, cut and that corner into white multi-purpose card by Crafters Companion. This is the card uh, I use is for anything. You can do stamping, you can do some mixed media. It's very uh, a good card uh, to use and of course i matted with matte black by crafters companion i've got some uh, lighter color pink here and for the background i used this plum jam water active uh, ink so what i did i put uh, a little bit of that ink on my mat sprayed it with water and then uh, dabbed that paper but after die cutting so i die cut it first and then i did the background and then uh, of course you need acetate and you need some uh, bits and pieces to put inside your shaker sentiment and some uh, sequins as well to finish off this card then the next one is very similar but with a lighter this one i think it was a uh, pink tulip water reactive ink and the topper comes from a uh, hydrangea 8x8 uh, topper pad the same pad as i use over here of course i put the matte uh, black card by crafters companion underneath that uh, die cut piece some pink ribbon um sentiment uh, is matted on matte black card and some gems very similar but this one is just a card this one is a shaker card and then uh, let me show you this one this one is a z fold card a lovely black and green color and um i did exactly the same as with this one and that one so what i use i use i don't know if it's still available because that ink water reactive ink came with frosty and bright collection from i think two years ago that's a christmas collection and it's called frosted sea glass i love that color and it's uh 
my favorite I think from those water reactive inks uh, so I love this one and I use it the same way as I use with those two so I, I die cut that corner first and then I put the ink on my mat sprayed it with water uh, dab that paper and then uh, uh, heat um, use the heat gun and and dried it off of course you can see some gems and you can see this beautiful fold I love those type of cards and of course sentiment sentiment comes uh, this is from a uh, hydrangea collection as well the sentiment set um, and I use it again uh, on this tag as well so that's what I used and uh, so this is the set fold I love this diorama card and uh, for the first time I used this die set which is very old one actually it comes from nature's garden a uh, sunflower collection and I had it for a very long time I bought it uh, and because I didn't work with this collection, I bought it for, to keep it in my stash. And this is the first time I used it. Love the sunflowers. And if you have it uh, in your stash, I, um, I'm sure you love it as well. So uh, I create this diorama card using, of course, Crafters Companion multi-purpose white card. I love, I always buy white multi-purpose multi -purpose, um, white card and a uh, matte black as well. I always have to have it in my stash because I think those two are uh, must have and it's always useful to have it. For the mats and layers, I use the green color and I used um, yellow. The yellow, I think it comes from uh, the 12 by 12 collection, a paper pad um, in pastel colors. I think I put it away already, so I can't show you right now. I added Sentiment Special Friend, which comes again from that Hydrangea uh, topper pad. Uh, this is the set I showed you. I love those leaves or sunflowers, and I think it's such a pretty card. Stand up really nicely. At first, I wanted to cut into the card and just offset it, but it was, I felt like it was quite not very sturdy, so I actually uh, add uh, the full. A sheet of that a green card and uh, that uh, die cut element and I used actually it helps to use this uh, stick and stay spray by crafters companion if you don't want to add those uh, glue a liquid glue into those intricate uh, spaces uh, it works well but I can see it comes off a little bit so I think I didn't rub it properly but I really like the spray and I think it's very useful to have it in your stash as well and so this is the another one and I love those that box this box so the paper comes from uh, hydrangea collection as well this is a4 luxury linen card that a4 set and it has beautiful colors i think this one the purple and that underneath as well yes that's the same so if you i just love texture cardstock and those a4 um packs for any collection i just keep buying them because i think they're so useful to have so and i um stamp this using this little set it's a one stamp only a special gift mm, i think that it came as you can see with uh, that punch um, tag punch but i really like this uh, stamp and uh, yes it's really useful to have it in your stash again so as you can see it's a box i use that um box uh scoreboard by crafters companion uh, it's really handy to have that as well and of course i use the white multi-purpose white card matte black and those two layers are from that hydrangea uh, a4 luxury uh, linen card stock and then i i did the uh, banner added the bow stamped it with i think let me see it's a quick dry ink in midnight that's the name of that ink really like that color and i think it works very well with this project and a few gems because you can add gems you can add flowers like here i think those uh, dies are really pretty and i'm really wondering which project is your favorite let me see if i can fit all of them so you can see them 
I really love those which has only a uh, texture cardstock and uh, just clean and simple project. I love this one. This one is my favorite and I think the box. So yes, let me know which one is your favorite. Maybe your favorite is different from mine. Pretty sure there are different type of people liking different things. So, and I really like this one as well. So I'm pretty sure I will try to recreate this one and uh, have it uh, in my uh, uh, yeah pile of cards ready to go. So thank you so much for watching. I will try to put as many links as possible below this video so you can check out uh, some of the products I use. Definitely check out if you are new uh, to Crafters Companion, check out uh, that matte black card stock and that white uh, white card as well. And those uh, texture uh, A4 sheets as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye for now.